Okay, viewers, welcome, welcome. Tara's apprentice and Jen Lynn together again. I'm on camera this time, aren't you happy? On camera. Nice to see me, to see me nice. Good to see you. We'll be a uh, split screen in the video. Uh, we get to see each other full screen. So uh, just a reminder, Johnny, make sure you hold the cards up dead center because we'll be split screen in the uh, video. Do you want me to do this? No, because everybody likes to see you. Okay, I'll stay on. <laughs> we don't get to see you that often. <laughs> okay, so I, I just have to start by saying, if you have not watched Tarot's Apprentice, Mitch McConnell reading on, is he losing his job? Six full minutes of Johnny <laughs> cracking up and losing it. You must watch, must watch, best video of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I had to watch it several times. <laughs> And uh, uh, anybody that reads comments on the videos, you'll see that me and my uh, best friend created a new drinking game. Every time Johnny takes his glasses off, you have to do a shot. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that duck, what was the name of that duck? Um, was it the Gothic Tarot Gothic or something? Gothic Tarot. Yeah, that's an awesome deck. I need a dark tarot deck like that. I don't have any dark ones. <laughs> I need one for political readings. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do some uh, uh, different readings. We'll get to as many as we can here. We've got a few questions. I want to look at first Mitt Romney. He came out um, and said that he would like an investigation done on E. Jean Carroll's accusations that Trump assaulted her. So I just want to take a look at what it, why why is... Why is Mitt doing this? Does he believe her? Um, why Why does he want an, uh, a congressional investigation? He said it should be either congressional or outside. Um, nobody outside is going to investigate it. So let, let's just focus on that. Will there, why does Mitt want a congressional investigation of Trump's? The um, Knight of Wands just flipped out. I think he might be trying to raise his own station. Because, you know, he's he's trying to get back in the forefront since, you know, Trump is, say Trump wins, you know, God forbid, say Trump wins. He's mm -hmm. only got one more term. So Mitt Romney could, you know, be trying to eye to get back in. Well, I've got a Knight of Cups here, like an offer made to uh, from the GOP because of concern over the government and maintaining control of the government. Um, this is an emotional plea. You know, this is something that's emotional coming from the GOP. Um, so it feels like uh, the GOP put him up to it. What did you get? What is that middle card? Uh, the Hierophant. Oh, I got it too. So I got the star. After that, the Hierophant. And then the Hangman. The something of wands, two of wands, and then anxiety <clears throat> with the nine of swords. So he's looking towards the future for something, he's looking towards the government to stop something. I guess the invest or her coming out and maybe ruining Trump's reputation. He ruined your reputation. So I think that should be the least of your concerns. But anywho, and then there's a waiting on something. He wants to bring an end to it. Maybe he wants just the glory of defeating E. Jean Carroll, maybe. Because he's got that looking towards the future and that government in his cards. Yeah, and I, I pulled a few clarifiers. I got the, the judgment on the GOP. Um, I got the secrets within the government. Um, so all their shenanigans, they're pulling all their secret agendas. And I got the hangman on the offer. Um, yeah. He's trying to stop it. He's trying to stop it. Maybe he just wants the glory. So, do you think uh, do you think he's vying for Mitch McConnell's position? You know, that's what somebody else said earlier. If uh, in quick, comments. Should we do a quick look at that while we're yeah. on Mitt Romney? Is he trying to get Mitch McConnell's position? Go from a turtle to a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why, 
why do these old Republicans live forever? Like they never, they never die young. They never like get diseases and stuff. They live into their nineties. <laughs> they, they eat the souls of children. I think that's probably what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I got this is my GOP card. Uh huh. So there's that, the give and take with the temperance, and then the page of cups. Like a new offer, new emotional offer. So this would be uh, probably a step up or a step forward, at least. So I think he is. Well, it's interesting, too. Um, I've got, um, this is my Mother Russia card, the Empress, and wanting him to put an end to that cycle in the government. So, you know, where Mitch McConnell, I mean, bringing Russian oligarchs into Kentucky, opening factories, you know, he's complicit with Russia. So I feel like Mitch McConnell, or Mitt Romney, is um, trying to put an end, like he doesn't agree with Russia coming into our elections, which is interesting. But uh, what I've got on the bottom is the White House. I, I don't think he's after Mitch McConnell's position. I think he's after the White House. <laughs> yeah, the, I got two decks. So on the bottom of each one is the Emperor and Strength Guard. So it might be <clears throat> something a little higher than that. Yeah. Or he, he wants to run for president again. Yeah, he does. <clears throat> so... We're going to look at Flynn, Michael Flynn. Um, he's a you know, retired military. He was in the military for 33 years, a lieutenant general in the Army. Um, he cannot be brought up on any military charges for all of his crimes he's been doing with Trump uh, because he's retired now. But they could take away his military pension if he's sentenced to more than 60 days in prison for criminal felony offenses that show disloyalty, espionage, treason, sabotage, et cetera, things like that to the U.S. So, you know, conspiracy, all those kinds of things. So I want to look at, will the military take, because uh, we know he's going to get more than 60 days. God help us if he doesn't get more than 60 days, right? Ooh. Let's look at Flynn. Will they take away his military pension? First card, four of cups. So, and the last one I got was the compromise. So, either you admit that you're guilty, and maybe something, they can go a little softer. Because, mind you, a lot of people were trying to say, well, go a little soft on him because he was helpful to the investigation. Or right? he's got a, you know, he's a 19-star general and all this other kind of crap. And, all of those things. Meanwhile, he traded out his country for money and power, but they're still trying to say go nice on him. There's the offer, there's the compromise. In the money, in the middle is money. So this hangs in the balance of what they're going to do next. So if he decides he wants to keep fighting this, then okay, then he's yeah. going to lose, and maybe it's lose everything. I have the fighting card on the bottom. Now, one thing with the military thing I forgot to mention is they could also, instead of taking it completely away, they could take it away from Michael Flynn and give it to um, family. But his family, his children are grown, so I don't think they would do that. But I've got I've got Michael Flynn here winning at all costs, you know, which is victory without honor. All this illumination on him, the sun, the sword of truth that's on him. And then sitting on that, I've got the emperor, I've got the bond and commitment he made with him, and then I got the tower blowing it up. So I feel like they they might blow up his pension. Yeah, I believe so. On the bottom of mines, I got the fool and the devil. <laughs> Aren't they one and the same? <laughs> <laughs> In this era, yes. Yeah. It's, it's like I'm starting to read those as one of the same. That's a mess. Okay, so former President Jimmy Carter came out and said that when they complete the investigation on Russia, it will show that Trump is an illegitimate president. Um, so let's take a look. We we know they're not going to do. They won't get far enough into like election hacking and stuff like that until uh, Dems take back over the Senate. Um, but let's take a look at, will they ever declare pre Trump's presidency illegitimate? Even if it's 10, 20 years down the road, will they ever declare it illegitimate? Oh, 
<clears throat> devil on the bottom. <laughs> that devil likes to come up in Trump readings. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Queen of Swords on the bottom. Bring some court cases. <laughs> so the first card I get is the Two of Wands. That's the waiting possibilities. So this would be something out in the future. This is not something that's going to happen tomorrow. Um, and then defending oneself and one's beliefs against the changes. So that sounds like somebody will try. Because if you got the waiting and then defending against the changes, what would be the change to get him illegitimate? The chariot and the knight of pentacles. So it's going to be slow, but they are going to try to move that in that direction. I, I think so, too. I, I've got the victory card here um, with new emotions um, about the Emperor Trump um, and you know, the illusion that he was president, the illusion and showing how the, the votes were uh, shifted. Yeah. Um, so they're they're having to wait right now. But I do feel like they will. They will eventually. You know, so about that six of wands card. I don't, for whatever reason, always reminds me of this one. With the horse, and then you got all the people in the background there, and in this one, all the people are dead. Like he's marching through the streets in that six of wands. Somebody else is marching through the streets and taking all of their lives away. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to try at least. That's a step in the right direction. Everybody's okay. scared to even say impeachment, so. Well, let's see. We had um, the Supreme Court ruled on gerrymandering this week and didn't really go in favor of helping us. So we know we know Obama and um, what's the other guy you were telling me we were talking Eric about Holder. earlier? Eric Holder have been working on gerrymandering. Um, how how should we ask this? What what will it take to fix gerrymandering? What will it take? Now, mind you, uh, this when I use this right away deck. I got two copies of everything. Both of these just fell out. And so getting money out of politics is one way to start because there's a vested interest in certain people being in office. And there's a vested interest in making sure those people are always in office, like the Mitch McConnells. So... Getting money out of politics, I think, is one way to fix gerrymandering and redistricting. So I think what is, how do we fix it other than voting? Because you can vote for them, but if your district is not, say, for instance, there was some case where these two people were running against each other. There is literally a line in the redistricting map that separates a house on one side of the street from a house on another side of the street. Both of them are both sides of the street are voting for this in particular person, but one side of the street doesn't count because they're in a different district. So that kind of stuff is what happens all over the country. So I think if we can get money out first, mm -hmm. then maybe the vested interest in who is in there is will change as well. But let's see what but, the cards say. But we won't be able to get the money out unless we get the people that like the money. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> gotta get them out too. We gotta get them out too. I agree though. The, 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 that's the biggest corruption issue is getting the money out of politics, getting the bad lobbyists out. My first car is the Ace of Cups. The new relationships, the new ideas for the people. The waiting, the possibilities, the possibilities these people could bring around money. There's the king of pentacles, that money man, maybe even the greedy man. So if we can get that vested interest out of politics, that's one way, anyway, to fix the gerrymandering. And then time on the bottom. Time on the bottom. Um, I have uh, that winning at all cost mentality on the bottom. So because yeah. basically, you know, where the Dems do make inroads, uh, you know, they're just going to gerrymander it back the other way. I mean, the Dems have been guilty in the past of gerrymandering, but usually mm. it's like trying to fix it back after the Republicans have been in. So there's going to be this back and forth, back and forth. What I get is the 
the loss that is going on in our country to fair voting, um, there's there's going to be some rather swift changes with the youth of America. Um, so, you know, if we get more young people um, either in the, the either not Republican or Democrat, or we get them registered more as Democrats and they start swaying the votes so heavily in these districts that uh, gerrymandering still can't affect the outcome. Um, and the women's vote too, and the women's vote get, get success with those um, that could actually get the Republicans out of their state seats so that they can fix the districts. Because that corruption seems to be a big issue with the millennial and this next generation. Was that Generation Z coming yeah. up? I, for, I forget what the latest generation is called. I always forget that. Kids. So, while we're talking about money and politics, let's talk NRA. Oh, yeah. So is NRA losing their grip on the Republican Party? That was a request. And let's see if we can figure it out because they seem to be having some financial hardship in the first place, which is a good thing because who doesn't need any more money is them. But let's see what we get. Are they losing their grip? First card I get is the three of swords. Separation, the emperor. They're losing their grip on those in charge. Now, here's the problem. The people in charge are in charge because of the people that vote for them. So you need to change the mindset of the electorate, not just the Donald Trump. The Donald Trump is a, sy a symptom. He's not the illness. The illness is in his voter. But it does happen quickly. It is happening now. So this is why you get the Knight of Swords around the White House and other official structures. And then you get the sun. So this is my yes card. So they are losing their grip on politicians, which is a good thing. But they need to lose their grip on the electorate as well. But yeah. one step in the direction is a good one. I've got the uh, I've got the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. You know, he's the emissary for the king. So um, I feel like that's where they're losing it. Some too is that they don't have the the people that are running the money. You know. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Maria Bettina locked up in jail. Uh, it's interesting. I've got um, death card here, end of a cycle, beginning something new with the government. Um, and then here's my mother Russia card. So um, it's like they they don't know how to work with Russia anymore, you know, because they don't they don't have their go betweens anymore. Yeah. So all this winning at all costs, you know, they're trying to create new agreements. Uh, but it's a lot of hard work, and they just keep doing the same things over and over. So it, it's not working for them. Death cards sitting on that. Um, yeah, and pe people don't want their help anymore. Because mm -mm, they're they're Got losing that grip. Four, four of cups. They don't want their help. Okay, let's see. Stephanie Grisham, our new press secretary. So she is coming in after Sarah... Huckabee, Yosemite Sam Sanders is leaving the White House. She's going to go off into greener pastures. And Stephanie Grisham is going to come in and be the new liar in chief. And so we just want to know, will she change things? Will she? I seen in a reading she's actually going to bring some harmony into the White House, not to us, to the White House. So, will she make an effective change? Will she be just like Sarah? Will she be a liar? Or will she tell the truth? No. <laughs> Donald Trump ain't going for that. No, he, did. he doesn't want anyone to tell the truth. He wants everybody to repeat his And mind you, she worked for Melania, so it's not like, you know, she comes from up some obscure corner of politics. <clears throat> she knows the family. The family knows her. They know she's going to do what she needs to do. She came to her position as a crooked yeah. person. You know, I actually thought that uh, Killian Conway might end up with that position. I was. Where she put her there? Yeah, I, get, I was a little surprised uh, when he brought Stephanie back in and took her away from uh, Melania. So maybe he's pissed off at Melania and then took her, <laughs> took her a girl toy away. I don't know. <laughs> he wanted to take Pence's people, too. It's like, go find your own people. I thought you hired the best people. <laughs> right. 
you just looking at who everybody else got. All their people are losers too. So first card, hardship. Being shunned, being thrown away. So she's going to be just like Sarah. She is new. New kid on the block with the Ace of Cups. And what does she bring? Confusion. Guess lighting. She's, she's, yes, she's just the exact same person. That's it. Well, it's kind of interesting. On the bottom, I've got, she, she might be retiring soon, and here's why. <laughs> and I'm feeling like retiring energy on that card. We got the uh, court cases coming for Emperor Trump, and the secrets coming out, and we've got the tower affecting oh, the Jesus. White House, and we've got all the investigators. <laughs> it's like, I, I think she's going to be retiring soon. <laughs> I don't think she's going to be there long. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna be there to employ her. Nobody's <laughs> gonna be there. This this oh. guy's gonna be gone. Jeez. We got all these legal things and all the secrets coming out. <laughs> okay, so I'm. <laughs> I don't. I think she's gonna have the shortest career in history. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm scared, Mochi. <laughs> All right, I have a fixation, and you and I were talking before we started the Skype video. I have a fixation on Trump and Jared um, as Republicans because Trump used to be a Democrat. Jared's father is still a Democrat. He supports Democrats in New Jersey. Um, so I wanted to just quick look. Why, why did they change to Republicans? Is it to get more money? Is it because... They allowed the crazy man to come in and take over their party. <laughs> is it, mm -hmm. is it uh, just to create more chaos? Is it because the Republicans like orange hair better than the Democrats? Why did they become Republicans? Well, there's the world. Big picture. Something of completion. Um, maybe just an outreach into the world. Because there is the crossing energy is the burden card. The ace of cups. This looks like sort of like they had no choice. Or they had, a, you always have a choice, but... Like this is this is the way we need to go in order to get along with those we need to. And so separation in the tower is also surrounding energy. So they left the old belief system or they left or appeared to leave in order to follow the doom and destruction of the country, which is what's kind of happening right now. So they became in order to enrich themselves. Because there's a bigger picture. I got re my Rebecca Mercer card, the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom here. Mm -hmm. uh, something bigger than them. Something bigger than them. I've got first card, my Mother Russia card, and uh, working with others in the world um, on a world stage. That yeah. I, I, You know, they've been talking to Russia, I think, long before he even decided to run for president. Yeah. They did. Yeah. And then I've got the, the judgment card, like uh, like Russia told him, you know, you need to run as a Republican. Um, you know, and the support from Russia. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the good news card there. Um, getting him in as emperor. Yeah. Somebody is holding the puppet strings. Yeah. They've been pulling on those for a long time. Because it's work and it's burden. Yeah. So, everybody always asks, when's Trump going? <laughs> I think we should close with that. They always ask, you know, we all, you and I both, we try to find different ways to ask it. But I like to check in because there's free will. There's a lot of people involved. Things can change. I like to check in first with my pendulum. So, I'm just going to ask. I keep getting by August of 2019. So, pendulum. August of 2019, will Trump be gone as president of the United States? That's a yes. So I'm still getting August. Unless something big changes, I'm still getting August. But let's just ask, 
Will we finish this room? <laughs> or let's let's ask Willie. Will he make it to the end of 2019? Will he make it to the end of 2019? As president. As president. How many cards? Uh, do the center of the cross. Or uh, no, actually, I'm gonna like I'm gonna lay just in lines. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull like six. Moon fell out. And the battle fell out for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was on my bottom when you were asking the pendulum. Was it seven of uh, pentacle or? Wands. You know, I love how your deck that you've got two of everything in your deck. Um, you know, whenever I read on Don Jr. now, I get the full card just like I do for Trump. So whenever I read on Don Jr., I get full Jr. I hear I hear guides saying, oh, full Jr. Um, <laughs> so I feel like I need to uh, have two full cards in every deck. <laughs> so you can tell it. like when it's Trump and when it's Trump Jr. <laughs> Oddly enough, speaking to two, these two are the same. We'll see what they are. First cards first, Eight of Pentacles. This is his job, this is his work, something he does on a daily basis, even though he doesn't really work. Something from the past is coming up again, naturally, because it's his past that is haunting him. Mm -hmm. um, time, this is my time card. And then my William Barr, Steve Mnuchin, his whole crowd around him, maybe even Putin. And both cards of anxiety and despair. <laughs> Double anxiety. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, one could be for New York State. One could be for federal. <laughs> or it could be because his past is is what's haunting him, and those are my nightmare cards. So <laughs> it looks like it. See, this is my nightmare card, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do have new beginnings regarding, and I, you know, I've got Mother Russia here. I feel like it's new beginnings with the investigation. So, mm -hmm. uh, what I feel like is ties to the money are coming out here. Um, you know, the connections, the the um, you know the the Queen of Pentacles. She's like um, the Earth Mother. She's very grounded. I feel like they're going to ground the investigation in the money, um, the family money, and that causes a lot of new emotions. So. Yeah, I think I think both Trump and uh, Kushner both will go down. I just threw a couple of last clarifiers. <laughs> we'll go. Yeah, it's something from his past is coming back to haunt him. So, and it's all his money and his dealings yep. and his debt. You know. What's interesting, neither one of us got a walking away card, though. No. So he could be haunted and he could be under a lot of investigation, but it neither one of us got the walking away by uh, the end of 2019. Um, just kind of shows the... Because uh, that's always been everybody's thing. Is it is impeachment or is it resignation? So, we'll see. So... Is there anybody else we need to look at? What did I have? Oh, we didn't do Jared. Oh, Jared, yeah. Jared's July. Jared's July. Jared's going around meeting with all these heads of state, and yet the CIA, you know, beyond the FBI not giving him security clearance, the CIA saying no, don't give him security clearance is like a major deal. And he's got the security clearance, and he's meeting with all these heads of state, and it's just the scariest thing. It's just horrifying. Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, The Lovers, Three of Swords, and Tower fell out. So, yeah. <laughs> so shall we look at um, Jared over uh, July? Jared's July. What is it, four weeks in July? Yeah, because we're on um, June 29th right now. 
So I'm going to do one card for each week. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so. We really, we really should have looked at the Trump parade also. <laughs> oh, I think people geez. should go to his parade and turn their back to it. <laughs> that would, yes. That's <laughs> Stand there with their backs to it. Dissension is, is what built us. They're selling VIP tickets now. Lord, for what? For, for the parade to sit in the special section because, you know, if Trump can make money on something, he's going to make money on it. <laughs> I got sort of truth right on the bo bottom for Jared, so that doesn't bode well, does it? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's wrapping up a world cycle right now. He's overseas meeting with all these leaders, but uh, he's about to get strung up on his heels. Um, he's going to get hung up on something majorly um, in the second week. Third third week, I've got the star card. So he's like a star player in something. Um, what is it? Third week when Mueller's testifying? I think July so. 17th. 17th. Week. That is the third week. Yeah, so he's going to play a starring role in that. I'm feeling that on that, <laughs> that energy on it. <laughs> he's got a starring role in Mueller's testimony. Mm. Um, and, and, you know, the behind doors, Mueller's... Uh, other guys that helped him are, are testifying. And then the last week of July, I've got the death card for him. There is four days into the last week. So there's technically five weeks, I think, but we'll say four because both of them are sort of split. My first is the judgment is passed, but this is a, also a rebirth. So something old is becoming new again. And then second week is the anxiety, the fear, depression, maybe, and the magician. There is some tricks and some skills he's going to have to um, operate in. That's the week of the testifying. And then the last week, he has the painful transition, carrying some baggage. So, yeah, he's got some... Um, because death comes for him. Yes. <laughs> <Congrats>. <laughs> but let's pull three cards on Trump's parade his I, I can't even remember what he's calling his july 4th celebration like he's ever going to change the name of the july 4th holiday yes. he's he's doing the the nixon thing yeah insane lord let's just see how it how it's going to go for him what kind of press he's going to get what, what what actually i don't want to know what the press is going to say i want to know what people in general the populace in America, how they feel about. Hmm. I've I've got the. Uh, Basically, I've got the, my King of Swords is on the bottom, which is my Muller card. I know that for you, that's your trunk card, but that's one of my Muller cards on the bottom. So people are thinking about July 4th that Muller's getting ready to testify. <laughs> I found that strange because I got Letitia James in mind, and I'm like, why is she popping up? All people are thinking about is where's the justice? Forget this parade. Where's the justice? Yes, yeah, where's the justice? Because then I've got, you know, uh, I've got my Putin card here, but I got my Nancy Pelosi card here coming in yeah. right after Putin. <laughs> it's, so we got all people because I got, I got all people in light of wands. It's like they want to know where is this money coming from? Where is the money going? What's happening? What is he doing? Who is he talking to? And where is the justice? I think they want to know also how much did that parade cost? Because <laughs> yes. um, somebody got paid somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Well, I think we're done. Thank you so much for doing a, a video with me. We haven't done one in a while. <laughs> in March, when I looked at the um, the Skype thing, it said the last conversation was March. That's That was a long time ago. Oh, my gosh. It's been a bit of a while since we did a video together. So thank uh, our viewers for watching and uh, staying with us as our channels just keep growing. Uh, it's amazing how our uh, subscriber 
following keeps going up. Um, so many other readers, you know, that I get little comments from. I know you do too. That uh, are engaging with us more. It's quite a community out there. Mm -hmm. That's a good one too. It's a it's a really good community and uh, it's uh, it's interesting. I, I love when people recommend like new readers I haven't discovered yet. I go check out everybody. Um, I got a list now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like uh, it's going to get really boring when Trump's gone. <laughs> what are we going to do? You know, it, it might, but, but he does I'm have some court to, cases. I'm ready to be bored. And I think it's really yes. funny when I both have one kind of prison stripes today. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then, yes. It's kind of funny. We're both wearing prison stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Subconscious. <laughs> it's a little subliminal message out there. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> well, thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you uh, hopefully again in a future video. Bye-bye.